This is Goku Sun DBZ, and welcome back to Comic Book Pickups. And today, starting off is from, of course, Vertigo Comics, Lucifer. Interesting cover. And I hope you enjoy my music selection in the background. I try to choose mainly rock. Just the mood I'm in. In case you're wondering, this music is Gargos. This is his original version from Killer Instant Gold. But personally, I really like the artwork in the Lucifer series from Vertigo. Next, we have one of two normal DC comics, Rebirth, issue number four of Batman Beyond Rebirth. I'm not sure how I feel about a little bit of the new design of the newer Batman Beyond costume. Next up we have issue number four of Teen Titans Rebirth. And there we see Damien find against someone else. You'll have to let me know if you want me to honestly do comic book reviews for the Teen Times Rebirth series. As always though, really good artwork in these comics. Of course here we see Damien practicing. And you recognize that person in the background. That would be his grandfather, Raish Al Ghul. Next we have one of two issues, which I forgot about. Another Star Trek Green Lantern crossover event. There's already been one six issue main series, and now we have a second one. But this one, of course, we see involves Sinestro. But this is co-op done by DC Comics with IDW of course. And there we see Hal Jordan. I always did like Sinestro. As I've said before, I'm not the biggest DC fan, but I do like Sinestro. He's definitely one of my, easily my top three favorite DC villains. Number one being Lex Luthor, but he is definitely in the top three. Love the R work. Really good artwork as always. If you're wondering in the background, by the way, on this track you hear, it's uh, from Ultimate Mall vs. Capcom 3. It's the music for Dormammu. Just in case you're wondering. Because I've had people ask me lately tr some of the tracks I play. Next we have issue number 16 for, of course, the ongoing Carnage series. I love that creepy cover. Because it's very suitable for Carnage. Now that's awesome. Love the artwork. I will say if you're a fan of, of course, Venom 
And if you're a fan of, like, I think, honestly, Spawn and stuff, I think you would honestly appreciate the Carnage series. It's really good overall. The artwork is superb. And some of the stories aren't bad either. Next up, we have issue number four for Infamous Iron Man, which is, of course, Doctor Doom gaining control of the Iron Man suit. And then Doctor Doom ends up deciding to try to be a hero, which is interesting. But I love the design of the Doom Iron Man suit. Next we have issue number, actually, number one dot MU, Spider-Man Deadpool, which is hilarious here. Spider-Man's like, a little help, please, and he's like, nah, I'm good. It's definitely Deadpool for you. Very good comedy throughout the writing of these series. Definitely Deadpool and Spider-Man makes some real an interesting duo. Next up, we have issue number three of Thanos. Now, one thing I can honestly say about the Thanos comics are the beautiful artwork is amazing. I'll try to find some stuff to show you the superb art. Yeah, never play around with Doom. Or should I say, sorry, Thanos. Thanos is one interesting, very complex character. Unlike most villains. Please uh, follow me at twitter.com slash gokusundbc as well as google+. Plus. Uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what are some of, honestly, your favorite comics. Like, new ones coming out or old ones? I'm curious to find out. Next, we have issue number 27. This is the last comic book pickup for this week. 27 of Star Wars. And, of course, Awesome Yoda on the front. There's an ad for an upcoming issue 150 of Venom. This comic is interesting because we get to learn a little bit about Yoda. Whenever I see a picture of Yoda, first thing that comes to my mind is the voice of Frank Oz. And one game recently acquired is a Japanese import of the original Soul Calibur. 
expect some gameplay and stuff in the future of this. Though I know it's not technically really different than the English version. But you will get to see, since there is a trick, as I've said, to play in Port on an American one. If you have a Codebreaker, a Game Shark, then you can play in ports. Because there's always a way around things, even region lock. I'll see you next time, and to look forward to this uh, upcoming Street Fighter comic book review. In fact, this weekend coming up. And I'm working on trying to do at least three total comic book reviews over the next few days. So stay tuned for that. I'll see you all next time here in YouTube land.